uh, started about 25, 26 years ago where I got uh, routine going, uh, got into some running. The routine is about four miles a day. Try to get it under 32 minutes. It's something that I'm addicted to. It's just my 35, 40 minutes of just uh, no, uh, no phone, no music, just look straight ahead, plan out my day, uh, thinking about the, the opponent. That running uh, is a natural high when I'm done, and then it uh, transfers over into a game coaching third and being live in a game, making decisions to help your club win. All right, time to eat. Got my routine down this morning. The run is over. Four oatmeals uh, every day. Seems like a lot, but for me, it's not. Uh, oatmeal one, oatmeal two, oatmeal three, and oatmeal four. And uh, the four blueberries and the nuts. And I'm going to get my bowl over here. I'm going to go uh, mix it all up. So I get the one down. When I'm done with this, it kind of fills me up. Um, you know, it's a long day on the field. Gives me some energy. Was never a big breakfast guy until uh, the last uh, three years. So now um, I love my oatmeal. I love my, my fruits and uh, uh, the walnuts in the morning. Some protein. And then we'll go with uh, the four blueberries. Black seed, put a little bit more protein in there. Mix it all up. And this is the morning breakfast for me after my, uh, my four mile run. Finished. Take you upstairs, man cave. 32 years of baseball. This is kind of like my, uh, this is my room. Most of these people I know personally, people that I've uh, come up with playing days with the Dodgers uh, when I signed in 1988. I signed as a free agent in 88 with the Dodgers. That's where the dream became true because I'm a Southern California kid, lived in high desert, and always uh, grew up watching the Dodgers and Angels, and uh, that's uh, when, uh, when it hit me. Went to Sarasota, Florida. My uh, manager was Joe Alvarez, pitching coach Johnny Padres. That's when I started to learn uh, what it uh, takes to be a Dodger. Over the next four seasons, Ebel advanced as far as AAA, but was never promoted to the majors. Facing an uncertain future as a player, the organization approached him in 1991 with another option, a chance to develop into a coach. I realized that, uh, you know what, if uh, they're coming to me and asking me if someday I can uh, be a coach in the organization or a manager, uh, that's when uh, I, I just said, you know what, I'm going to start it now at a young age, work hard, develop players, and someday live that dream at the major league le level as a, as a major league coach. In 1998, I started uh, managing my first full season as a rookie ball manager in Great Falls, Montana. Tommy Lasorda said to a great manager, but more uh, important, a super guy. So that means uh, a lot to me. Ebel managed in the minors for nine seasons before finally getting an opportunity to coach in the big leagues. Went to the Angels. You can see there's a lot of, you know, a lot of Angel stuff here, spending 13 years in the major leagues. Albert and I are really close. There's some bats up there that he's given me, uh, some home run bats. My rookie season, 2006, uh, 
When I, that was my uh, first major league uh, uniform. Alongside of that was Vlad Guerrero when we won the Derby in 2007 in San Francisco. Over the 32 years again, it's just, uh, I come up here and look at stuff back in the day when I was with the Dodgers and, and the Angels, now back with the Dodgers. It just, it's just great memories to see this room and, and very blessed and fortunate to be in the game of baseball my whole life and uh, have something like this so I can share with the uh, people and share with my family. This past off season, Abel received an offer too good to pass up, a chance to return to the organization where his professional career began. Looking back in 1988 when, we, when I signed and watching the Dodgers win the World Series that year from my uh, home with my wife Shannon at the time we were just dating and all my family was there. Being part of the Dodger organization and winning the World Series uh, in 88 was awesome and then getting that call this winter from, from Andrew and uh, Dave Roberts, uh, you know, I got the chills. My wife, uh, you know, she started to cry. and. You know, I'll be honest with you, I had, you know, some tears in my eyes, too, that I was going back uh, to the Dodger organization where it all started. Now, this sign coming up here always, uh, every day still, from day number one, 32 years ago, as a minor league player coming here, and now in 2019, and when I see that sign right there, Stadium Way, that's the part that uh, it's still like days I pinch myself and uh, coming to Dodger Stadium and being a major league coach and getting ready for tonight's game against the Angels. Just a feeling that I can't describe. <laughs> 